The trailer opens with Yatsuyu remembering she's Sado Dere, laughing just thinking about the pain you'll endure in Eureka 2. She assures us it will suck and then somehow cries onto the moon? Like, how does she even get up there? Maybe Heidelin was like, step on me. We see this tall Garlean dude creepily admiring his coworkers' butts, then the whole gang looking pissed off at a potential resurrection of Xenos, while a Zeppla giggles off screen, pretending poorly to be upset. The Ivalis raid's beautiful, but it's a distraction. I want to see what's in the cave behind the waterfall. You can now get job stones for different zodiac signs, so in this case for Taurus, your character can now be just as lazy and stubborn as you are. We'll fight a robot whose main attack is pelvic thrusting under a strobe light, and Alfie changes into a bonga to distinguish himself better from his sister. It's a hot day and the fan is broke. So we harass this poor guy till he spills his water. Ramza eats the wrong cookies at Coachella. Meanwhile, Robot Party Boy finally turns on the air, but it's one of those bladeless fans that sucks you into the suffocating void when you put your hand in it. We encounter some little snowballs that have been rolled in the hay. Whatever made us fight them must have been the last straw. Or maybe this is a hazing ritual. We should bail out of this scene. Sora Bun steps out the shower, pissed off that we replaced a shampoo with Rogaine. We get a look at the cute new fluffy dress, which has kind of a childish look to it, but that's perfect for fighting Harambe. Suyu hits rock bottom and begs to be fed more dango. She's wigging out and hallucinating, and one crappy tomato ain't cutting it. We'll fight Stovetop Boy, Frosted Tips Yog Saran, and Asahi will continue to walk around like a popped collar douchebag. Patch 4.3, under the moonlight and behind the waterfall. P.S. We turned on Ultima.